Hey YouTube, I'm Mike. And Nikki. And tonight we're going to be doing a taste test review on some exotic Asian snacks. Now, this all started when I first heard about Japanese Kit Kats for the first time, of which there are over 200 flavors in Japan, so I'm really looking forward to eventually trying all those. But I figured, instead of Kit Kats, I'll do a review on some other stuff. So I went to an Asian store out in Fort Lee, and we found some green tea matcha paki, some wasabi corn sort of like cheese noodle type things and uh, some other things that are sort of like chili pepper flavor. Now, as far as these go, I know they're popular in a lot of stores around here. Call me sheltered, but I've never had these, so I'm really looking forward to it. So the first one we're gonna try are these wasabi corn things. And uh, they sort of look a little bit like cheese noodles. Yeah, you know, they're not bad. They're not bad. Um, they actually taste like a puffy cheese noodle with like just a slight wasabi burn. Um, I would definitely get these again, just because I love wasabi, and I'm a huge wasabi fan. So, not bad, I mean. Spicy, really spicy. With the, uh, with the right crowd, I'm sure wasabi would catch on. They're not overpoweringly hot, despite what she might tell you. But, let's get to the uh, next item on our list. That would be this. That's the Ocardo. Hot chili peppers. With sunflower oil too. With sunflower oil. The Korea, I guess, well, Korea, the scope of flavors are a little bit different. Um, Thai use a bit more bold flavors, but in Korea, it's, it's a little different. But I can open the damn thing. Well, that's not happening either. Oh. You might want to open from the bottom. Start it from the bottom, now it And there we go. Oh, where it is, fans. All right, let me try this. Hopefully I'm not blown away again. It's, they're actually not bad. They smell like those um, noodles you get at they remind me of, place. They remind me of the Andy Caps fries, but I, I know it says hot chili on there. They're actually not, not even all that hot. Um, <laughs> no, not these are really not that bad. <laughs> kind of bland, a little bit on the dry side, but. But it tastes like Chinese noodles. I definitely buy them again. Yeah, they, they they definitely do have an Asian kick to them. So next one is Pachi Machi or Matcha. Pachi. Matcha flavored green tea. Green tea. Is as, as, as I said in the it's intro, I know that I know these are popular with a lot of people in this country that are fans of all things Japanese and fans of Japanese culture and anime and that sort of thing. As I said, call me sheltered, but I've actually never had these. So let's see how this plays out. Oh. This dice. Not bad. Ooh, they um, they sort of remind me of the Japanese green tea Kit Kats, which if you ever get to J Mart and Ridgewood and actually pick up a bag, are awesome. I give them a nine ten. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I definitely give these a nine ten at best. I mean, especially if you love green tea, they're awesome. <laughs> I'm addicted to these now. Yeah, I, I I think I think I found her new addiction, folks. I, I, I really. I'm really convinced, but no, no. yeah, believe it or not, for all of you uh, Japanese wow. fans, you can say I've officially been inducted into the club because I've tried Pocky for the first time in my life. I say buying three boxes of this was a great idea. And the last item on our review list, this is Japanese green tea mochi ice cream. Um, for those of you that are big sushi fans, this is usually the ice cream a lot of sushi places give you for dessert. Um, I know it's served at the sushi bar I visit. and. Um, the chef there uses really good mochi ice cream. Uh, that's Taki Sushi in Wayne, for those of you that actually live here in Jersey. Um, as I say, it's a really good sushi place. It's actually one of my favorites. But I want to see if this mochi ice cream is the same stuff that he uses. Normally, when he you... is Korean, too. Normally, when you buy this stuff, it's supposed to be served and eaten cold, although when you buy it in the store, it's for some reason not cold. Why they don't chill at the store, I have no idea. But... As you can see, it comes in a thing sort of like an ice cube tray. It is. Yeah. So, this is a little tricky to actually open. No, it's not. Find the perforation right there. The, uh, the packaging on these are a little bit hard to open. I guess, uh, I guess over in Japan and Korea, they love sealing everything as airtight as humanly possible. Probably. <laughs> this this kind of looks like the mochi ice cream that, uh, that you get in uh, sushi places. Although, yeah, it's kind of squishy. That's what they look like. All right, so. 
And uh, get, oh, it feels like like oh, like yeah. Not bad. But uh, the middle is like really. Hard. Yeah, it's it's a rice dough with a uh, matcha green tea filling. Ooh. Mm, not bad, but not as good as the uh, ice cream I usually get at the uh, sushi place I go to. These for some reason really don't have much of a green tea flavor, but yeah, it doesn't. They're I'm still pretty good. Really much. It tastes a little bit though. So, once again, if you like our video, click that little button down below that says like, and feel free to comment with your favorite Japanese, Chinese, Asian, or Korean snacks, even if it's to suggest great flavors of Japanese Kit Kats that I haven't tried yet. And uh, also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and that's all. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> Alright, so that's our review of Exotic Japanese Snacks. I'm Mike. And I'm Nikki. And hopefully we'll see you again.